Shady, you fight this good fight. You will <laughs> die on this hill, and I will say the eulogy that Andy Reid is the best coach ever. That is what you want us to believe. But if I'm being real, Shady, he only got two rings. Yeah. So it is hard to convince others who didn't play with or against Andy Reid that he's the best ever. What would that third, that ever-elusive third ring what would it mean? My boy, big red in the red. You looking good. <laughs> Listen, if Andy Reid wins this championship right here, he's the best coach in football of all time. I'm saying it, right? And you got a list I want you to put up here, right? Can we throw the list, list up. Please? Throw the list up for, for my right? guy. Because we're going to show, we, show one guy that, that... Three Super Bowl rings best ever. So wait. So check it out. So check it out for a second, right? <laughs> best ever. That Belichick is, is really still in there. He shouldn't be on that drink. You know what I mean? We all know why he shouldn't be up there. I won't even talk about that. Definitely be up. But I'll talk about Andy Reid for a second. Okay. Okay. So in 20 years, right? They've never been to a conference championship game. Who the Chiefs? It's the Chiefs. Mm -hmm. And then the big guy in red comes to save the day. And every year they go back. It's been a mm -hmm. six straight. Can't just do that. When you talk about a dynasty, you're gonna talk about the players. You're gonna talk about the quarterback. You're gonna talk about the head coach. Mm. There's no dynasty. There's no Patrick Mahomes without Andy Reid. Because one thing Andy Reid does, not only is he a, a great play caller and a great coach. He drafted these players. He had to go find Patrick Mahomes. Mm -hmm. Is that Travis? Scott? Come on, let me get Travis. <laughs> That's who he is, and he can relate to these players. Andy Reid's, what, 60-something? Yeah. Right? You can't even tell. You can't even tell because he relates to all the players. He relates to the players. He's personable. He's a great coach, and he's a winner, mm -hmm. right? Philadelphia. I was there when in Philadelphia. They weren't good before they got Andy Reid. They got Andy Reid. They changed the whole franchise around. That's mm -hmm. what he does. You drop Andy Reid, any team in America... Any team, and they're going to win. Mm. Now, you do need special players to win Super Bowls. No doubt about it. Because yes, you might not have a Tom Brady, Glad right? You said that. But you're still going to win. Glad you said that. He ain't going to be like Belichick. Glad you said that. Shady, if he loses. He's 4 12 is If he loses. If he loses. He's 2 and 3 in the Super Bowl. And he'll be back again next year. Sure. But if he loses, is he still the greatest all time in your I, mind? I mean, I, I think so. I, I think when you, when, you, when you ask what makes a great coach, can you relate to the players? Do players want to play for you? Do players love you? Will players go through a door for you? Yes. Um, teaching, right? We watched, we watched last year the Super Bowl they had, and we praised Patrick Mahomes because he had a phenomenal game. But there's some plays that they scored touchdowns that they didn't need. There was nobody defending the players. All scheme. Right? All scheme. So, and you take it to about the Eagles, who was a good defense, right? They set a record yep. for the most, most sacks. Most sacks, third, third. Most sacks ever. That happens. And Andy Reid shut that down. I watched the last game when they played the Niners last year, right? They neutralized um, um, Bosa. Mm-hmm. Great pass rush last year, went deepest player of the year. I couldn't find him. Couldn't. That's what Andy Reid is. So when you ask who the best coach in football, I want to see, are you a really good coach? Can you develop your players? Can you show growth? Can you relate? Mm -hmm. He can do all them things. When you look at that list of all them great coaches, Joey Taylor, can they answer them questions? Can they relate? Some of them can't. Can they adapt? Some of them can't. He can. Mm. Um, I think he's the best coach in the league right now. E oh, that's, e oh, that's, come on, that's a layup. That's like a wide open this layup. <laughs> the third ring would certainly put him in a different air of, of coaches. What air? And what air is he so, in now? To, so to me, to me, he's an all-time great coach. But to me, there is no one, all, like, the best coach of all time. Because right. Belichick should be that. And he did us the great disservice of coaching for too long and showing us that he is, in fact, in my opinion, not the greatest coach of all time. But there are coaches who have done legendary things in this league and have coached for a very long time and have gone through different versions of different teams. And I don't want to just dismiss, especially when we're talking about hardware, which is what we use to measure the greatest of the greats, guys that have accomplished that. I mean, I can't just dismiss Don Shula, who has the most wins in the history of the NFL. Bill Belichick would have to coach at this rate like three or four more seasons <laughs> to catch him. That's how far behind he is. And, and, and think of the amount of winning that he did over the time that he was a head coach in the NFL. That's astonishing. 347 wins for Don Shula. I can't disregard Jimmy Johnson, who is, in my opinion, one of the greatest coaches of all no time. Had success it. in multiple places. It really revolutionized the sport when it came to trades. Was an unbelievable drafter. Hello. Mm -hmm. And developer of players and certainly related to players. He's given speeches on, uh, on halftime shows on our <laughs> network that gets you ready to run through a wall. I mean, He's, he's definitely one of those guys that relates to players. You got guys like Chuck Knoll, Joe Gibbs, Bill Walsh. So yeah. to me, it's very, very hard to just say this particular coach was the best coach in NFL history. And for a while, it was Bill Belichick, yeah. but I have, to, I have to update my information with what I've seen. And I don't think he is hands down the greatest ever because just because of the hardware. So I, definitely Andy Reid would be in that conversation to me with, a, you know, a Bill Belichick because of the numbers, a Chuck Knoll, a Joe Gibbs, a Bill Walsh. 
because of what he's accomplished and the, and the run that he's on. And maybe eventually Andy will put himself above everyone else. But again, I think I'm, I might be alone in the opinion that I don't think there is just yeah. one greatest head coach of all So is Andy about. already in that conversation for you? Are you essentially saying it won't move Andy because he's already in the conversation for he's one of the greatest He's already in one ever? of the greatest. I mean, but I, you know, I'm leaving out some other great names, obviously. I think there is a, I think there's a, a pretty big room of all-time great head coaches. And then there's like a little smaller section of, of guys that have won three or more that are in a different category to me. My boy not going no small section. I mean, well, sis, literally, he's not. <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, Andy Reid. Andy Reid is one of the greatest coaches of all time. But if he wins three, if he wins three, it puts him in that category. Like Shady's over there, really fighting for him as the greatest coach of all time. It puts him in that category. Yeah. Just having two of them. I know Shady loves him. He played for him and all that. But from a guy on the outside looking in, it's hard to just say, okay, this man got six. This man got folded. You know what I'm saying? Yep. But what I do give Andy Reid a lot of credit for, which a mm -hmm. lot of these coaches aren't able to do, is adjust with the times. Yeah. And Andy Reid has adjusted with the times, whether it's players, play calling, whatever it may be, he has adjusted with the times. We've seen other coaches not. So Andy Reid is a great coach, but he has to get one more ring to be able to say, hey, man, is it Bill Walsh or Andy Reid? Yep. Is it... You know, Bill Belichick or Andy Reid. I think one more will put him in that conversation. I hear what all y'all saying, but Andy Reid got three of them, and Andy Reid did this. I think one more will put him in that conversation for greatest of all time. I'm with the left side of the table because right now you can't take Shady seriously unless you coached against Andy Reid, played against Andy Reid, or played for Andy Reid. Because Andy Reid was recruiting me, so to speak, out of college, I know Andy Reid. So I'm like, yeah, he's the greatest coach of all time. But if you're on the outside and you know nothing about ball, I can't take Shady seriously. Yeah. He got two chips, mm -hmm. and you're comparing him to somebody that got six yeah. or four I mean, but like, or three or three. He got two? Because if, if I'm on the outside end, my question to Shady would be, then what's the point in playing the game? Mm -hmm. Because if the point in playing the game is to win championships, but there are coaches who have three X the championships that Andy Reid does, and you're telling me that he is better, even though that coach that has more championships than Andy Reid has actually beat Andy Reid in a title game, that math, though, math. So I think Andy Reid's third chip would really solidify your argument 2-5, or at least it would give a lot more weight to it for somebody who doesn't. You know what I learned? That people, um, they can easily be fooled, right? And they can believe. <laughs> no, I'm being serious, though. Because, like, no, I'm to people who talk about how Belichick's so great. He's this and that, six championships. I keep talking about six championships. And then, but we see, I don't know if y'all want to believe it or not, but we see what he looks like without that player that got you them six championships. And that player went to win another championship. Right? And we see what your franchise looks like with this player. And then this player leaves, and we see what your franchise looks like without that player. But people, don't, they don't want to believe that, right? It, it's like this thing where, like, I, if I say this, you know what I mean, I, I, am I going to be credible for saying it? But y'all see it. Where this other coach, right, this big guy with uh, an all red, everywhere he goes, they win. Yeah, but people forget that even before Patrick Mahomes, they had straight eight division uh, title games. They, they did that. They, 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 they accomplished this. Dudes like, Alex Smith, who we, they said was a was a buzz, was weak. One of my best friends, Frank Gore, when I bring his name up about Alex Smith, he got respect for him, so he don't even he won't even say anything bad or good. He's just like, yeah. He go to the Chiefs and he's like a player again, right? The the, the dynasty with the Chiefs. We talk, is it a dynasty? Is it a dynasty? They've been to six straight AFC Championship games. You, you think that's easy to do? Huh? No. Then the same thing with the with the Eagles. Before they got him, they, they didn't make the playoffs in like three or four years straight. Couldn't make the playoffs. They yeah. get him five with four or five years straight to the NFC Championship game. game. Yeah. Right? Now, luckily, he, we didn't have the quarterback that, that the Patriots had. We probably won a lot of them. So it's just like when I when I hear these conversations, like it's, it's more than just, oh, he got six, he's the man. He got four. He, no, it's more than that. Yeah, but I think and I, I watch how a guy goes to a franchise and changes it. Yeah. Because and I'm really mean this though. If you put Andy Reid with the the Texans. I think, I think uh CJ D'Amico is doing a great job. Yeah. You put Andy Reid there, man. They probably in the AFC Championship game again. But see, that's why it's tough, and I really think he needs three because Andy Reid was with the Philadelphia Eagles for 15 years, mm -hmm. and you did not win one championship. Mm -mm. Not one. Nope. Like if we arguing about any other coach, whether you had winning season in NFC Championship, we'd be like, bruh, yeah. 15 seasons yeah, and you yeah. don't win one championship, and then you get arguably we had the conversation yesterday. I had him as the second greatest quarterback in NFL history, right? Some people had him at a third. You have a great player and you win Super Bowl. So we can't knock Bill for having a great player and then Andy having it's one. A, it's of, a difference. It, it ain't a difference because he's having a, has a great quarterback and even, that's what got him over even the hump. If you take 15 Bill, years, even, one spot, no championship, mm -hmm. and you and we are your greatest if, coach. If Pat, I say this, this is what I'm gonna say. 
Patrick Holmes is a great quarterback. Yeah. Hands down. If you don't have Andy Reid, I don't know if I, I don't, give Andy Reid credit. Hold up. If he don't have Andy Reid, I don't know if he's that. I don't know if he's on that level. Coach I'm a, and I'm going to say that loud. I can agree with that. Patrick Mahomes is a great quarterback. Mm-hmm. He's top three of all time, yes, in my opinion. If he don't have Andy Reid, I don't know if he's top three that fast that soon. I could agree no, with that. Okay. No. Yep. Tom Brady, if he don't have Belichick, he's going to be a great quarterback. You said why? Why would I know that? Because we see it. But I'm saying we that, see that's it. year 20 see. after Belichick has already coached this man, too, though. Okay, other players. Is that better? Other players. I watched Andy Reid develop these other players. Tyreek Hill was a, a talented running back type of player. Had to learn to play wide receiver. You, you see him now? Andy Reid don't have nothing to do with that development, that growth. I go to eat every player if you want me to do that. Travis Kelsey, he wasn't no dog in college. Did you know that? Quarterback. Did you know that? He's a quarterback. I know what he was. Right? Converted to a tight end. Andy Reid, you don't think he helped develop him? Mm-hmm. So when you're talking all this wild talk to me, you got to really look at the players that he's coached, the things he's done. These franchises you talk about, yeah. the things he's did with them. You love Mike McCarthy, right? Love him. Started from the, the Packers and he went to the – Yep. All right? Got the same passion about Mike you got. He ain't doing Reed. nothing like Andy Reid. Doug, is he or isn't he? He don't do nothing like Andy Reid. You put Andy Reid, you, you give him them, 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 them Cowboys? Ooh. You give him them Cowboys. You give him Dak Prescott? Because yeah. Dak Prescott is a, is a solid, good quarterback. Yeah. He will look different. You can okay. do this Hold with up. other Thank. all-time great coaches. Can we? Well. We yes. can't do that one in, 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 in uh, 15 Ooh, years in one spot, Johnson? no championship. We can't, we, can't, we can't do that with, uh, with Belichick, can we? I don't, I'm not I fight with you about you that. You said Jimmy? Jimmy. Jimmy's a good, he, he was good, for, he was good for, for a little bit. He was good. I don't want to knock Andy Reid. I don't want to knock bit. him at all because he's a great coach. But you sitting here 15 years in one spot. Mike wasn't in Green Bay for 15 years before he won a championship and winning and turned that organization around. Mike was there for three years, 12, 12, 12, winning. So Mike knows how to win, too. Playoffs? Andy Reid is there for 15 years. Are we talking playoffs? Not one championship. Oh, you're talking regular season. What you talking about? I'm talking everything. You're at one place. You're this greatest coach of right. all time okay. for 15 straight right. seasons. Right. You're the greatest developer, as I'm listening to Shady right you now, of developing players. Mm-hmm. So what happened in Philadelphia for 15? 15 answer years. That. Your answer last that. two answer seasons that. in Philadelphia, you was 8-8 eight and, eight and 4 and 12. Let me answer that. You answer ready? that, because I, I do need an answer to yeah. that. Okay, so for one, right, in my opinion, we, we didn't have the leader and the quarterback to do the things he's doing right now. The truth. I had a player, though. You, number you, two overall pick, I believe, Donovan McNabb. Yeah, Don, Don was so good. Special, Don, special, special talent. Donovan McNabb was really, really talented. He was really, really good. He wasn't the leader, and he wasn't the player that Aaron Rodgers, as you had, your guy, Mike, Mike. If you think, ooh. You think Aaron, if, if Aaron Rodgers played with... Um, we can't play the other game. No, no, I'm just asking a question, though. What's up? For Aaron Rodgers to be so great uh-huh. to have only one championship, yep. you think if he played with Andy, Andy Reid, that would Hurts be like that? Think about know, that for a second. Hold on, hold on. Know, what it would be like. Because w- w- a great coach, when he gets that type of quarterback, they have dynasties. Mm. The truth of it. Right? Everybody you want to talk about, right? You, Jimmy, oh, aren't you when they got a solid coach, quarterback, they're, 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 a great quarterback, I mean, though, Shady. Joe Gibbs won, with three, won Super Bowls with three different quarterbacks. Shady, Shady, you're not getting Belichick as having a people. great quarterback, but you're giving we, Andy we Reid all this on, credit for having a great quarterback. We disregard we t- NFL history. We can't just be like, well, we didn't watch them coach, so we don't know how good they were. Or were, were they, like, when does, when does the timeline start for for historic coaches being good. How far back are we like, going to cut it off? Like, because mm. we didn't watch them? Like, that's, no, that's no. weak to me. You got to give them... Co- of course, court. I mean, I'm going to do it. Okay, but but not... I'm saying, like, you, you can't just say because this is what we see now. We can't... Andy we, no, Reed we... is, a, is an incredible all-time head coach. And I, and I don't have a problem with you saying he's the best head coach because, again, I don't feel that there is one unequivocal, I mean, inarguable, like... greatest coach of all time. There is a group of men that did incredible things in the NFL just because we weren't old enough to watch the dynasty of the Steelers, like... That didn't happen? But he how, wasn't a great coach? But how are we going to – I mean, we going to sit here and really talk about Gibbs like we know everything about Gibbs? That's, that's not – that's weak to me. We cannot just – I'm, I'm asking. History because, just, so we can see – Gibbs won with three different quarterbacks. So we can talk about Andy Reid developing different players. Who are, them, who, are them, who are them quarterbacks? Joe Theismann, Doug Williams, Mark Rippon. How good were them guys? Do we know anything about anyone? I'm, I'm asking y'all questions. Y'all keep bringing it up. All these they old people. Hold on. All these, all these old coaches. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let's just be this conversation now. Let's be, let's be bringing it up. We talk, we're going back then like that. Let's talk. What do we know about them old dudes like that? What does. I'm going to ask you a question, though. Right, so what, so give, me the, the, give me the, num- give me the numbers of the quarterbacks. Go, what what is I'm at, I'm at, I'm, hold on. Because you're, 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 I had an argument for Andy Reid, and I'm giving you all type of numbers, all stats and all that, right? Experiences, players. I'm asking y'all, tell me about these old coaches and these players. What numbers do these quarterbacks have? Three quarterbacks, two quarterbacks. What numbers do they have? What What's they do? What's the name of the game to win what? I'm asking y'all. See, now y'all want to see. Y'all want to have a conversation until I ask y'all questions. When did good coaching start? When did it start? What year? I don't know. What year are we can? I only speak about this I can relate to, and I know about. 
That's I, crazy. No, that, the, the, what do you mean? We just the, can't, the reason, like, well, like Dan, Dan Marino wasn't a good quarterback then? We don't get to count Dan Marino? No, for me, it's not that you can't count we, we, him. We, you we, can, we, you can we don't count Terry Bradshaw's but I, rules don't count? No, I think there is discernment, at least for me. I don't like speaking a ton on things that I don't know. That's crazy. No, we I, can't I, just I, cut I, off. We can't just I'm not cut saying off. Uh, at 19, I'm not saying so that. Let's talk football. Okay, so let's play. No, I'm saying I don't. Let's talk about it then. I would rather not speak on something I don't know. I think it's more, I think it's wise. Let's say, let's qualify this conversation as to not disregard the incredible accomplishments that great coaches and great players did. Right. Let's not disregard what they did and say the modern NFL. So, let's 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 put the parameters around this conversation. Oh, Joe Gibbs didn't do anything. Bill Walsh didn't do anything. I, uh, did, I didn't say that. Didn't, didn't do anything. I didn't we don't say remember because no, no, no. we didn't I'm, watch that. I'm but not you, saying they didn't do anything, but I am personally. When I, I mind you, I haven't spoke much in this conversation. So I, when I speak about a conversation, I'm going to say, look, I didn't even see it. So I'm going to couch and say, look, I'm going to start at the oh, 90s. Oh. I usually say, like, hey, here's you where I'm going to start. The 90s here's where I'm going to move. What part of the 90s? You, you, know, know, I mean, you, you, you can watch look that up. You can watch that. Watch the 90s. I, so how about, how about this? Hold up. Since, since, since y'all so, know so much about all this history, tell us about it. That's what I'm saying. I, I told you about Andy. I told you everything about him. Tell me about these these old dudes. Tell me about Why them. Why does it matter about? Why does it matter? Tell you about them though. That's because that's all I'm Don saying. Shula, like Don Shula even if you didn't watch them, so you perfect record. The only team, 1972 oh, Dolphins. Maybe four that people on that team. I'll wait. Oh, my Maybe God. four guys on that team. I'll wait. Hold on real quick. Hold on real quick. This so, is what I'm saying. So basically, okay. So basically, so what you guys are saying on that side? I just said name some guys on the team. Hold on real quick. It's not on YouTube. It doesn't count. Hold on real quick. Basically, what you guys are saying? Yo, give me your iPad. You guys, I know about Andy Reid. Give me your iPad. You have never seen him play. That them dudes is not better than the. Do what you see. That's, that's what you're saying. That's not what I'm saying. I will say what I'm saying so nobody has to interpret. Please. Me. What I'm saying is I can't sit here and say that somebody is better than somebody else if I don't know who that somebody is. Thank you. Because I don't think a thorough enough argument is to say, oh, well, he won this or he won that. That's why we don't say or cl classify that Bill Russell, I don't say that Bill Russell's the greatest basketball player ever. If I'm talking to an OG and they say he is, I'll, I'll defer. But I can't sit here and say, yeah, well, Bill Russell won 11. With all due respect, I don't know the 11 he played in. I don't know the 11 he played against. I don't know <laughs> oh, who he man. played with. I don't know if there was if the leagues were integrated fully at that time. I don't know how many teams were around back then. So there's so many caveats when I personally am having a conversation. Now, I'm not going to say they're not the greatest So ever. so when so when does your when when do you start? If I was having if I was like fully interjected in this dialogue, I would probably say like I'm going to start with the 80s. I'm gonna start with the '80s. And you watched these dudes in the '80s? No, but I actually so went what? back and I went back and rewatched. I, I went, you did I not rewatch whole seasons. You studied like we all did. You know the history of the NFL, which is you cannot which is take away from if what you these did. If you were born in 19, 1987, as I was, sure. I do not remember the '70s because I was not here. Correct. What I'm saying is, we cannot. Oh, I would prefer. I would beg that we not just disregard what people accomplished to make room for what Thank we're you. seeing now to accommodate our conversations. Andy Reid is an all-time great coach. If he wins the Super Bowl, which I'm picking him to do, he will be in a rare era of all-time great coaches. And if you want to say Andy's the best, that's fine. If you want to say Bill Walsh is the best, that's fine. If you want to say Bill Belichick is the best, we're probably going to argue with you. But at the end of the day, we can't just say we didn't see what the Steelers did so, with Chuck Noll, so they're not good. They're not, not the same. Not, not, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're not, saying they're not the same as I'm, what's happening I'm not, now. I'm not saying it. Well, this, is what I'm, this is what I'm saying to you. What I'm saying is, for you to tell me how great somebody is, tell me why they're so great, right? Give me all these different characteristics why they're so great. They got this, they got that, they coach this player, they did this, they changed this franchise. That's what I'm asking. When I'm asking about these great old coaches I keep talking about, Y'all can't tell me nothing about them. But, but it says they won, a champ they won four rings, and he won six rings, he won three. That's the only thing I can tell me about him. So how can I say that, yo, I believe with everything y'all saying, he's a great coach, because y'all telling me why. Because y'all not. Y'all not telling me why. Y'all right, well, can read in the book. Not and one of the greatest... I can read it so in the book. So uh, what I'm asking was, tell me why he's so great. Tell, if so if y'all has the most wins of all time, he has two Super Bowls, he has a perfect season. Who'd he coach? <laughs> Who's his players? I mean, that matters, though. I just told you how, how, how Andy changed so many yeah, players. I think we got to we, we, It's we, interesting. I, I mean, see, no, it's not really interesting. It's really it's easy. It is, it is, it is. If I, I, I ask you why, yo, this dude's a great player, a great about, coach, you about, can tell me why. How about John Madden? How would, about Vince Lombardi with, with, with five titles and two? Where did John Madden coach at? Where did, who did, who did, who did he coach? You can't just throw it out there and this thing doesn't believe it. No. That's, and that's the problem with sports now. You tell somebody something and they hear it and they run with it. Tell me why. I can tell you why Andy Reid is so great. I can tell you why. He won three, three uh, Super Bowls in 10 seasons. Who? 
It's getting crazy. Subscribe here to get the latest from Speak and go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.